How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about getters and setters in JavaScript classes. So basically um, getters and setters are used to um, define methods on a class which are then used as if they're properties. So essentially they look like properties but they're actually methods of that class. So let's see with an example. Um, just going to define a class here in a JavaScript and we'll call this one square. Okay. Um, for the constructor, let's just take in a single um, argument here called width and that'll be the width and the height of the actual square. So inside here, let's just say um, this dot width is equal to that width parameter and the same thing for the height. Okay. So now the square has a equal width and height. Okay. Now, we have this basic square. So um, to work out the area of this square, it'll be the height multiplied by the width. Okay. Um, so we can actually define a getter to achieve this. So down here, let's create a getter for the area. We can do this by typing out get just like that, then a space, and then specify the name of your getter. And this will be the actual name um, that you type out as if it's a property. So let's just say get and then put down area, followed by parentheses, okay? Then the, um, the normal brackets there for the actual method body. So now, inside here, um, this is now basically a function. We can put any logic we want inside here. We can do anything. So um, let's just return, return this dot width multiplied by this dot height and that'll give us the area of this square so you can see how I put a return statement inside this block because it literally behaves as if it's a method okay so now um, we can we can test this getter we can create an instance of this square so let's just go down here and say um, we'll say let's make a new variable and say we'll call this one square one equal to a new square with a width and height of something like uh, 25. Okay, so now um, down here, let's just console.log and then we're gonna call this area getter by typing out um, square one and then dot area. So you can see how it um, essentially behaves like a property. Okay, all right. So there's no need to put any, um, uh, any parentheses here because yeah, it literally is a property, right? Now, if I was to save this one and then refresh the browser, okay, we get 625 as a result. So, um, 25 times 25 would be 625. Let's make that maybe um, 4, just so we can get a small number. So, square of 4 width and height, save and refresh, and we get 16. So, you can see how um, we're calling this area getter, um, running this this function body but it behaves like it's a property okay so that's the actual getter right there so now let's actually create a setter so a setter behaves basically in the same way um, you can assign new values to your instance properties um, with a property like syntax so you can actually um, do this you can say square one dot area equals and then something like um, 25 for example so let's create this setter so this right here this line right there will actually convert this 25 into a width and height for these two properties okay so back inside here let's just create a setter for area so we'll say set and then put area like that now this one is going to take a single argument and that'll be this value right there so let's say set area in parentheses let's put down area okay so now inside here uh, we can now simply just uh, find the square root of this 25 um, and then we can assign that that result to the width and height of the square because obviously um, the square root of the area would be the width and height of the actual square so let's say this dot width is equal to the square root 
So we use the math.sqrt um, method and pass in here the area. Okay, so now if I was to pass in 25 inside here, we'd say the width is equal to the math.square root of 25, which is actually going to be 5. Okay, so the width is equal to the square root. We can do the same thing for the height. So this dot height is equal to, and we can just say this dot width for, um, I guess, consistency. Okay, so now we can run this code and that line right there will change the value of the width and height for this for this square um, so let's just see how this thing looks so let's get rid of that right there and console.log down here square one dot area okay let's save this and refresh the browser oh, okay 25 yeah of course let's actually just console.log the width of this square and also the height okay Try again, save and refresh, and we get 5 right there. So we have converted the initial width and height of 4 into um, 5 using this setter, which modified the width and the height based on the area that you pass in. That is the basics right there. Um, I just want to show another example of how um, you can basically treat these like a function. So um, with this getter, um, Let's actually keep track of how many times we have requested this square to give us the area. So, every time I call this getter, I want to actually increment a number which tells us how many times we've called this getter. So, um, up inside here, let's create a new instance variable and we'll call this one um, number, uh, number of requests for area, okay, equal to zero. So when it's constructed, we have no requests for the area. Inside the getter, let's just say this dot num of requests for area plus plus. So now, every time we request for the area, this will be incremented. So down here, let's just get rid of this um, that right there, and then let's just say console.log square one dot area, okay? And do it. Let's just say four times, okay? So now, if I was to then console.log and say square one dot number of requests for area, this should now equal four because I've requested it four times and that has been incremented four times. Okay? So now, if I was to save this and refresh the browser one last time, you can see we get the area and also number four, and that is how many times I've actually requested for the area. Okay? So that is how you can use um, getters and setters on classes in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.